In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to record a PowerPoint presentation with audio and video. Whether you're creating content for online courses, webinars, or presentations for professional settings, mastering this skill will undoubtedly elevate your material's impact and retention rate. Let's get right into it, step by step, ensuring that by the end of this tutorial, you'll be proficient in recording your PowerPoint presentations with ease. First things first, we need to launch Microsoft PowerPoint. If you're working on a Windows machine, you can find it by searching in the Start menu. For Mac users, it will be in the Applications folder. Once you've opened PowerPoint, you'll be greeted with the opening screen, which is your gateway to creating or opening presentations. At this juncture, locate and open the file for the presentation you intend to record. If it's a new project, you might want to take some time to design your slides and rehearse your presentation to ensure everything flows smoothly. Now, with your presentation ready to go, let's move forward. Next, you're going to want to navigate to the Insert tab located at the top of your window. This tab houses an array of options that allow you to add different elements to your slides, making PowerPoint a powerful tool for creating interactive and visually appealing presentations. Once you're in the Insert tab, look for the Screen Recording option. This feature is specially designed to record any portion of your screen and is particularly useful for creating tutorials, demonstrations or recording your presentation along with live commentary. Before you click on it, let's make sure we set up everything correctly for a smooth recording process. Now onto a very crucial step, ensuring your pointer and audio are ready for recording. When you hover over or click the screen recording button, you'll see options for the pointer and audio. Make sure these are enabled or appear greyed out, which indicates they are active. This ensures that your cursor movements are captured during the recording and audio is recorded, which is essential for providing explanations or commentary alongside your presentation. Once everything is set up, it's time to click on the record button. Before you start, envision the flow of your presentation and any key points you want to emphasize. This helps in delivering a clear, concise and engaging presentation. The screen will dim momentarily and a recording toolbar will appear, indicating that everything you do on screen is being recorded, from slide transitions to cursor movements and, of course, audio from your microphone. At this point, you might be wondering, how do I stop the recording? Well, it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is press Shift plus Windows key plus Q if you're using a Windows computer. This simple key combination stops the recording, ensuring you have control over when your presentation recording begins and ends. It's discreet and doesn't interfere with the flow of your presentation. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to recording your PowerPoint presentations with audio and video. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't hesitate to go through the steps a few times to familiarise yourself with the process. With each attempt, you'll find yourself getting more comfortable and efficient, eventually turning this into a seamless part of your presentation creation process. Consider this recording capability as a tool in your presentation toolkit. It's there to enhance your ability to communicate and to engage with your audience, whether they're in the same room or halfway across the globe, Take advantage of it to record practice runs of your presentation, getting feedback from colleagues or friends, and refining your delivery for the final show. The potential applications are vast, from creating asynchronous training modules to crafting personalised messages or conducting detailed walkthroughs of complex processes. In closing, PowerPoint's screen recording feature with audio is a bridge between the traditional static presentations of the past and the dynamic, interactive learning experiences we strive for today. Embrace it, experiment with it, and watch as your presentations transform into immersive experiences that captivate and educate. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. Keep exploring, and until next time, happy presenting.